Now this is the FC Twin Game Console, a recent entry in the latest round of cloned Nintendo consoles. Now this particular system from Yobo plays both NES and SNES cards in one neat package. It is available in black, white, or the one I have here which is a very nice pearl metallic type finish that reminds me of some of the newer Cadillacs. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the FC Twin very closely resembles the second model Super NES, except for the second cartridge port for NES games. It's also very light for a game console, representing how technology has shrank the original components needed into single smaller chips. Overall, the unit has a quality feel to it and the plastic feels nice. There's a reset button and a three-way switch that goes from off to 16-bit to 8-bit. Now, I would rather have had separate switches, but this works fine as well. Now, on the back of the unit is where the AC adapter goes, as well as your standard composite outputs to connect to your television. The controllers that come with the unit are clones of the original Super Nintendo controllers, except these are much lighter but still have a, a really good solid feel to them. The ports do accept standard SNES controllers if you prefer those. Now for NES games, the Y and B buttons are mapped to the B and A buttons of the NES, so it might take some getting used to. However, they are laid out correctly unlike some other clones, and games like Super Mario will play the same as they do in the SNES Super Mario World or Super Mario All-Stars. Also in NES mode, Yobo thoughtfully mapped the X and A buttons as rapid fire versions of B and A, but for some reason this only works with the supplied controllers, not any SNES originals. Now, as you'll see in this video that I took off the web, early models of the FC Twin definitely had sound issues, and in other games there were color issues. In the newer models, however, the ones with the jeweled Yobo logo, these issues have been fixed. And they recreate the NES very accurately, and are definitely the one to look for if you're going to purchase one. As you can see, the video and audio output is very high quality. The sound is properly cloned mono, unlike earlier models where NES sounds were split between channels and sounded rather odd. Glass Joe still looks and sounds like a retard, can be knocked out with ease. Now, I don't care what the Fresh Prince said in 1989, I don't think he can beat Mike Tyson, and neither can I.
Okay, so the FC Twin plays NES games pretty damn well. But the question most gamers will have is how does it play SNES games? Once again, the FC Twin didn't let me down. The pre-fight images look as fantastic as ever, and the rock and stereo soundtrack sounds crystal clear. Another classic Super Nintendo game. If there are any differences between the FC Twin and the actual Super Nintendo, I can't pick them out. The controls are responsive and everything works exactly like a ship. <laughs> Purists will insist that original hardware is best, and they're probably right, but for a mere $50 from online retailers such as Amazon or East Starland, you get a quality piece of hardware that not only looks good, but plays well, thus giving you the option to put away your original NES and SNES consoles for safekeeping. This concludes my review of the FC Twin. Happy gaming.